A procedure to help alleviate back and leg pain has recently been approved by the FDA. Doctors placed a titanium rod in the lower back to fill up the space of a collapsed disc. We went into the operating room with Dr. Saqib Siddiqui at University General Hospital to find out what it's all about. Here's a behind the scenes look at all the medical tools and the surgery. Uh, we're going to be showing a case today of a um, middle-aged female with uh, chronic low back pain and we're going to be doing some minimally invasive spine surgery. Um, I have the MRIs here. Um, basically, um, you can see that these are the lumbar discs uh, on the MRI and here at the lowest disc you can see there's really a, a great deal loss of height. Uh, there's also a small herniation here. Uh, in the canal. Dr. Siddiqui will perform a minimally invasive lumbar spine infusion. Uh, this lady has tried steroid injections, uh, physical therapy, rest, uh, medications. Uh, none of this has worked. Her pain has been there for two or three years and she's now dependent on uh, narcotics and muscle relaxers. Hopefully this procedure will put an end to all that medicine. Check out the surgical table especially equipped for this procedure. It's called a Jackson table and has a carbon fiber frame. And we can take x-rays from the front, from the side or at any angle without the table actually interfering with the patient so we have a full 360 degree view of that patient's spinal anatomy. This helps Dr. Siddiqui view the dozens of x-rays taken throughout surgery. This procedure has come a long way. Dr. Siddiqui used to have to cut through the abdomen, but x-rays have changed that. What we're going to do is make a little incision right here next to the tailbone. Then Dr. Siddiqui inserts a rod called a blunt dilator. So what we're now going to do is take, uh, take this off and leave our channel in place. A rotary cutter helps create a channel in the disc. Then he uses... And then we have wire brushes, which we can put in through the channel and spin in the disc space, and that removes the uh, loose disc fragments. She's pretty tight uh, because she's had so much collapse for so long, but we'll just keep working away. And we should be able to open it up soon. After about 15 minutes into surgery, the disc space is open. And at this stage, we can insert some bone graft putty material and then continue drilling into the uh, L5 disc. And then eventually what we're going to do is insert this, which is the axial rod. Which holds things in place until the body can fuse itself. As the final result will be what you see here, where the rod is in the L5-S1 disc space. In less than 30 minutes, the patient is sewn up, and Dr. Siddiqui uses a material called Dermabond, similar to superglue, to seal the incision. I think our blood loss was uh, maybe 20, 30 cc's for the whole procedure. Which is only about two or three tablespoons of blood. So she's not going to be having a transfusion or going to ICU or any of that kind of stuff. Does this device lasts forever? Yes, we leave it in there. Um, I've never had to take one out. Basically, it's titanium. Here's the final result. On your left, you can see how it's almost twice the height of what we started off at. And that has implications for people that have a pinched nerve uh, coming off at that level. If you open up that and increase the height, uh, that takes care of some of their leg pain as well as their back pain. After the procedure, Dr. Siddiqui immediately inserted screws in her back, also minimally invasively, to help with stability. The patient was pain-free and back to work in two weeks.